What's up, Astros? You logged in the only channel for your gaming and entertainment. I'm Chris the Astros Gamer, and this is Pokemon Crystal for the Game Boy Color. Last time we began fighting the Elite Four after buying some items. Probably a crap ton, probably overstocked on some items, but it'd be alright. This time we're going to face off the rest of the Elite Four, possibly face the champion of the Johto, Re uh, Johto region. Or maybe champion of both, I don't know. Uh. This is actually in the Kanto region, so I'm not really sure how that works. Uh, feel free to explain in the comments below. And there's not really any need to check our party because the party's just... Oh, crap. I forgot. Trippy has poison, so... Crap, I gotta waste a full heal. The last full heal do some, due to some bull crap. Anyway... Same moves, same party, same old, same old, so there's not really any need to... I think that's Bruno. Which is actually the second person that we could put Trippy on. Actually, third person, but we're actually going to swap out. Start off with Ibuki. Ibuki's a flying type and goes great against po uh, Pokemon that can fight. Fighting Pokemon, anyway. <clears throat> I am Bruno of the Elite Four. I always train to the extreme because I believe in our potential. That is how we become strong. And that hurt my throat. <clears> throat> Ow. Can you, with uh, can you withstand our power? Hmm, I see no fear in you. Oh, there's a dryer, like I explained during the last video, so... <laughs> And there should be another buzz coming on in like 5-10 minutes, so that's within this video. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, be perfect for battle. Ready, Jenna? You will bow down to our overwhelming power. Hoo-ha! Very, over very overexertive, if you ask me. Leap for Bruno. Not to be mistake, not to be mistaken, mistaken for Bruno Mars. Yep, no top. And a message saying L O L O L O L. It must be very, very funny. So, I'm not, but I'm not going to check that yet. We're going to instead drill peck and get quick attacked. We got attacked right quick by Hypno Top. I wonder if it sleeps on his head. Not sure. There's the second buzzer. The dryer should be stopping here pretty soon. Uh. Wait, these? Did they say he was sending out Onyx? I've been waiting for this moment. Alright, now it's time to play a number by Hyper Potions. Hit <laughs> Monchan. Hit Monchan. Alright, we're gonna swap back out to. Ah, it got quiet in here now. It's a Himmochan, so Ibuki will come out now. Hitmonchan. I think if I remember correctly, Hitmonchan is Hitmonchan's name is based off of Jackie Chan. Hitmon Lee's name is based off of Bruce Lee. Now we're not really sure about Hitmon Top. Hitmon Top, probably because his he can spin around on his head like a top, so. That's probably what that's about. We're gonna draw peck it again, or yeah, draw peck this like we did hip on top. It's super effective. Wow, Ibuki is knocking people left and right, or knocking mons left and right. My champ. 
Wait a minute. Ain't this king nappy? Low key. <laughs> Low key is king nappy. Although that is not exactly his mascot. He just says that he looks like a hitmon, uh, hitmon champ. <laughs> hitmon champ. He, he just says that low key looks like my champ. Oh, he has rock slide. That is not good. Oh. He has a max potion. <laughs> I was like, that's not good. Oh. Scared the heck out of me. Cause he can slide the rocks. And there's another drill pack heading your way. That gets rid of that. I think Hitmonlee's next. Yep, Hitmonlee. Cause why would you have Hitmon top, Hitmon Chan, and not Hitmonlee? And we're gonna stay in. <clears throat> Oh, that's some pretty nice animation there. Uh, we're gonna drill pack it right quick, right quick, right quick. Cause you don't even know, even know. I don't even know what I'm saying. Go 51. <coughs> that was actually pretty easy. The next couple are probably a little bit difficult. Having lost, I have no right to say anything. Go face your next challenge. Whoops, didn't mean to go that way. But we're gonna go ahead and Yeah, let's see what we can do with a hyper potion. Yeah, we're gonna have to use a hyper potion on this one. Lemonades ain't lim ain't healing that much. <clears throat> Alright, so this is Karen. Mischievous and scheming. Indeed. And I keep getting messages on Facebook. Sweet. Uh. Okay, there we go. Lost track of whatever I was doing. Uh, what could be great against dark types? Dark types. Hmm. Uh. Welcome to the rest of the video where I figure out who we can face Karen with. I think this one we're just gonna have to wing it. I am Karen of the Elite Four. You're Jenna? How amusing. I love dark type Pokemon. I find their wild, tough image to be so appealing. And they're so strong. Think you can take them? Just try to entertain me. Let's go. Elite Four Karen. See, she looks as mischievous and daring, daring, mischievous and scheming as anyone can ever be. Uh, we're going to, I guess we're going to fight. Screw it. Um, we're going to fly because we used a lot of drill picks during the last match. So that way we don't get hit by a confused ray. Because this is at... Oh, whoa, hello. That didn't really do too much. Oh, let's see how much a drill pick does. I think drill pick is stronger than fly. Quite honestly. Penny attack doesn't really do too much. Let's try fury attack. Wow, as soon as I need I do a move that I want to hit more than twice and it just hits twice. And then and then wherever it faints, it can do it more. That is so stupid. That is very stupid. Gengar. Gengar. Although it is is ghost and uh is ghost and poison He 
It is Ghost and Poison. So it must have some dark move, dark type moves up its sleeve. Okay, so we're just gonna use confusion. I really would. Hello? I was about to say, don't put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Anyway, um. Confusion wasn't really that strong, so I'm kind of I'm kind of glad he used Curse Murkrow. We're gonna swap out to uh, Pikachu because we have Thunder, and that's a bird. About to clip some wings tonight. All right, so Thunder. Of course, it misses, and it uses Faint Attack. And that attack missed too. Well, that was short lived. Great thing this isn't a Nuzlocke. That's stupid though. Both attacks that I needed to hit miss. We're just gonna ro throw some rocks at it and see what happens. Oh, that's right. We haven't even given. We haven't even given Onyx any attention, so this is actually a good opportunity for Onyx to shine. It takes half health. Whirlwind. I'll take you on with a Growlithe. I don't care. Houndoom. I believe it's fire. Dark, dark fire. Ugh. That was weird. <clears throat> All right, time to continue the number by hyper potions. And slash and oh hello what up Karen using X potions all of a sudden at least within the next hit I should be able to knock it out continuation of hyper potions File plume. So we can we can either use Trippy or Spice. We'll use Spice. We've used Trippy the whole like first couple of trainers in the Elite Four, so. <laughs> We're gonna use Vile, uh, Vile Plume, use whatever. Anyway. Man, Vile Plume is poison grass. What kind of moves does it have to even be considered part of Karen's team? It's a dark type Pokemon. Cause it's anything but, especially the, which Pokemon was it? Cause there was another Pokemon she used that was not dark. 
at all. Well, aren't you good? I like that in a trainer. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon, has the only selfish perception of people. Hello? <clears throat> I felt like she said that to, to Serena and uh, somebody else in Pokemon. Anyway, that's for another day. Uh, truly skilled trainers should try to win with their favorites. I like your style. You understand what's important. Go on. The champion is waiting. Alright, so considering we have 15, uh, we're 15 minutes into the video, we are going to face the champion. I'm going to do some healing right quick because that actually put a hurting to our team, especially the Surge Wifey, which kind of the bucket too soon. I wish I could have found a thunderstone somewhere though. We have, I have, I bought like nine revives. I haven't even used one yet. Nine revives. I had nine revives. Anyway, we're gonna use the limit eight. Pikachu only has 97 full HP at level 45. Alright, he's a dragon user. I kind of wish Juvia had an ice type move. Wait a minute. We should probably lead with someone that does not have... Because none of our mons are weak against dragon... Like, dragon type moves. But, dragon types actually can learn moves of multiple types so we should probably choose someone who does not get owned by a thunder watch we get like a dragonite with a freaking and we're gonna, we're gonna save the game real quick in case something weird goes down but what what if we go against a Dragon Knight with like rain dance and thunder? I've been waiting for you. Jenna. I knew that you, with your skills, would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer and as the Pokemon League champion, I, Lance the Dragon Master, accept your challenge. Okay, so this is this is when I freaking send a Pikachu. This will be the moment where I was in a Pikachu. Because Gyarados is weak to electric moves. But I don't know what that thing has, so... I have a feeling that thing has Bite, for all I know. See if I can hit it with the combo. I had to go to the dojo to hit a combo. <laughs> Train on my combo. nightmare poor thing all right I sh let's see what shadow ball does it's not stab but it's probably stronger than or not and that was a crit I feel I feel Gen Four the Gen Four version of this song is uh, a little bit slower in tempo than, uh, than this version. Twenty seventeen, Dragonite. 
Let's see, what... So Dragonite's a flying dragon type. Which means any electric attacks are neutralized. Um... So yeah, we will not send out Ibuki, we will not send out Jubia. We can send out Rocky. Rocky does have, is a rock type Pokemon. Ground types, ground type moves just won't work against it though, but we don't have any of those at all, so we're just gonna throw rocks at it. Any electric attacks that it does won't work against us. Any, any physical moves, normal moves won't work as much. Uh, it's just going to spam Twister over and over again. Let's see if my strategy here works. Because it's just going to keep using Twister against me. How many... I wonder how much PP is in Twister. That's a critical hit. So we need to heal again. That's the only thing that sucks is that... You prepare for a twist... You prepare for a move that does less than half and then it ends up being a crit. Like, if that happens in this instance, Lance is going to heal. I know he is. After this twister, he will. So I'm going to try to get a free hit. Oh, he didn't heal. I was going to say, I, I should get a... I was thinking I should get a free, either a free heal off, or a free rock throw. Free rock throw was actually a good choice. And that's a bunch of EXP, holy crap. Dragonite. That is the second one. Gonna use Ivor Potion. Blizzard. Wait a minute, it's a ground type. Wonder what that does. Oh no! Ice is super effective against the ground. Which means no flying types. Specifically, no no flying types. I can probably use Trippy and Juvia, and that's about it. If any of them go down after that, then I'd have to sack sack one off for a revive, revive and heal run. Ah, uh, and it uses Thunder Wave. Maybe it can't attack? Hyper Beam! Although it has to charge up now. And I'm fully paralyzed. But might as well get a free heal off while I'm... Waiting for it to charge up. I'm not really waiting for it to charge up, but... Holy crap. Oh wait, I should have used a... Uh, I should have used a... Full Restore. uses Blizzard again. 
Okay, so we're good. Except we're fully paralyzed again. Okay, so we have a hypnosis off. Can I hit the nightmare? Yes, I can hit the nightmare. Alright, so... This is where I hit the... Wait. Okay, I thought it... I thought I did put it in there. Got screwed it for a second. A2. It has a nightmare. Yes, it has a nightmare. It does that sometimes. Let's see what Shadow Ball does. Probably not much. Nope. And it woke up and it uses Thunder Wave and I'm paralyzed. Back again, once again. Back again, one again. <laughs> I'm back again, one again. I can still pull the combo. Oh, yeah, that's the one thing that. Oh no. It's using Twister again. Oh, Twister isn't that. But uh, it causes flinch. I either flinch or I'm fully paralyzed. At least I can't freeze. Also, because I'm already paralyzed, I can't. You can't stack two status of uh, status elements. Of course, when I try to hit the combo, I get fully paralyzed. I just want to hit the combo. And it woke up. And he used Twister off the bat. But yeah, I'm just... While I'm not, while I'm not paralyzed. Give it a nightmare. Again. I don't know why that thing looks familiar. I said it with a stab move and see what it does. By the way, that's the third out of six, I think. And Nightmare gets rid of it. Yep, that's the third out of six. We have Aerodactyl. Now this is where we use Juvia. Oh, 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 why? Why is that cancel button there? Why is that cancel button there? Hyper beam. Hyper freaking beam. That's the recharge. I have no choice but to surf. Nine eighty four. Now we have two more, and we have the Dragonite.
All right, we're gonna go back out to Juvia, or not Juvia, the Juvia is already out, Trippy. All right, so we're gonna safeguard. Very wise move, <laughs> indeed. Outrage. I don't know what that really does. Critical. So it does a crap ton apparently. So it doesn't really take that much, it just looks like it. And since it's safeguarded before I could really do anything about it, whoops, I accidentally turned down the volume in my headset. That's like 98, 97 or something. No three. It was more than 80. At least I, at least I know it was more than 80. Okay, let's try this again. Is it locked in the outrage? I am so stupid. No. I we're trying to pull tactics here and All right, so right now it's outraging. I'm healing or reviving right quick. It confused itself. Hyper beam. And it must recharge. Was that a crit? Alright, for now I'm just gonna put Rocky out here. Of course it has to recharge, but if it pulls another hyper beam, then if hyper if I remember correctly, hyper beam is normal. If it pulls another uh, hyper beam, Rocky will be able to endure, hopefully. Like I just randomly sacrificed spice. Alright, oh, it's confused. Outrage. What type is that move? Confused no more, that sucks. You're just gonna keep using Outrage. Alright, so I made it go to sleep. Let's see if I can give it a nightmare. Full restore. Ah, oh, he's use a full restore. Well played, Lance. Well freaking played. But now all the freaking damage I did is like nulled.
I should heal up Juvia and see what's up. So if Trippy goes down again, I'm going out to. All right, if Trippy faints again, I'm going out to Juvia. I feel like I should heal up another Pokemon. First, I need to kill Trippy. I'm not making that mistake again. Oh, we're spamming hypnosis and forget that it moves first. Alright, safeguard faded. And is this where it starts getting confused? How many of those moves it has left? Soon it's not going to be able to... Soon it's not going to be able to move. Well, at least use Outrage. It still has Hyper Beam after two times. I think he used it like once or something. Alright, I heard stuff in his confusion, but it wasn't really as much as I was hoping for it. stuff in his confusion again. I'm using Persona 5 tactics, but I don't really think that works. Nope, nope, nope. I was thinking if it's like mental state issues or whatever, you can use Psychic to... Alright, so there's no using that anymore. I have a feeling it's not he's not gonna heal. He is not gonna heal. He's confused. And he's hyper beam. Great. But he has to recharge. Great thing I remember that. Ah, oh, that was so close. Please don't heal. I don't want to go through all this again. It's confused. Ain't using another hyper beam. So now he's just spamming hyper beams. That should be either his last one or his or next to that. He has to recharge again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Get rid of it. Good freaking riddance. Which means we only got one Mun left to fight. Charizard! Out of all the Pokemon it can have, it has Charizard. Whoop, Juvia? You know what to freaking do. Flash. Oh, now it wants to use Hyper Beam. Wait, why does all why does half of his mons have Hyper Beam? Half of his Pokemon has half of his Pokemon have. Hyper Beam. And that is the championship, y'all. It's over, but it's not a feeling. I'm not angry that I lost. In fact, I feel happy. Happy that I witnessed the rise of a great new champion.
We get 10,000. Wow. Ooh, you have become truly powerful, Jim. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong, upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. Ah! Of course. Oh no, it's all over. Professor Oak, if you weren't so slow. Ah, Jenna. It's been a long while. You certainly look more impressive. Your conquest of the league is just fantastic. Your dedication, trust, and love for your Pokemon made this happen. Your Pokemon were outstanding too, because they believed in you as a trainer. They preserved, persevered. Congratulations, Jenna. I say you the brand new champion. This is getting to be a bit too noisy. Jenna, could you come with me? Oh wait, we haven't done the interview. <laughs> she just starts freaking out. The uh, crap. For some reason, I felt like the same thing happened with third gen, except with May and uh, Birch. It's been a long time since I last came here. This is where we honor the league champions for all eternity. Their courageous Pokemon are also inducted. Here today, we witness the rise of a new champion. A trainer who feels compassion for and trust toward all Pokemon. A trainer who succeeded through perseverance and determination. A new league champion who has all the makings of greatness. Jenna, allow me to register you and your po partners as Pokemon. Or as champions. Wow. Save a record. Don't turn off. Not that stupid. New Hall of Famer. As I said, that one ID number is because uh, I traded with one of the guys in the game. Pokemon. And I've been playing this for 141. Yes, I understand how to use Pokeballs. Whoop. There was actually a poll a while back that basically asked, uh, should I do the Kanto region version of this game? And there was only one vote for yes, so I'm going to, at least with, uh, at least keep that. Uh, basically, basically the poll one, so I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. Should I or should I not use another party? And I'll probably make a poll on Twitter, uh, at Astros Gamer, so... Be on the lookout for that, and I will uh, hopefully get some votes. But it's been pretty fun. Wait, what? I forgot the name of that mod. But I thought it. I thought that Pokemon didn't exist until Gen Four. I knew that one was second gen. But anyway, uh can't really do too much of like a appreciative like sort of like because I'm not even done with the LP yet, so Well I guess thank you guys for uh sticking with me at least through the Johto region. I know vi I know VO's got a little bit scarce. Uh, I know Freedom Planet hasn't been up for a while. I'm uh, sick of doing one uh, LP at home from here on out. And then.
life happens, so I can't really, I don't really have a lot of time to even record, so, the end. I don't know what that was. Anyway. Let's see what's going on. See, I spawned out here already. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Because we're actually... We got done with what we were supposed to do. Uh, like we said we were supposed to do. Uh, we'll go to Kanto. Or I guess be on our way to Kanto in the next episode. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter how many times you try to face an opponent and fail. Because I know a lot of us have faced opponents and failed. Just remember the Asterisk Gamer is always here for you.